Okay, we're going to do a proof about this figure here. What's this figure called, everybody? Cone. Cone. Um, what information is just given in the diagram? The height. the height is given in the diagram. All right, a cone has a height, but it also has a radius and a slant height. What information was given up above? The radius. The radius. Okay, so I'm going to add that in right there. That's 7. That's the radius. So the thing I don't know right now would be what? The slant height. So how am I going to figure out the slant height? Pythagorean theorem, of course. Everybody start doing that Pythagorean theorem. It's going to be 7 squared plus 24 squared equals slant height squared. That's 49 plus 576 equals slant height squared. 49 plus 576 is 625 equals slant height squared. So slant height has to equal 25. Okay. So that's the first thing we need to do. Now we have all three significant measurements for our cone. Um, we're trying to find the surface area. So that's going to be the area of the circle plus pi times the radius times the slant height. So the circle here has a radius of 7. So to find the area, you do pi times the radius squared. What is 7 squared? 49. 49. So it's going to be 49 pi plus pi times, again, what's the radius? Easy question. What's the radius? Seven. Seven. Thank you. And what's the slant height? Twenty-five. Okay. So, do seven times twenty-five. Tell me what you get. If you had seven quarters, how much money would that be? Dollar seventy-five, and therefore that's one seventy-five. So it's forty-nine pi plus one hundred and seventy-five pi. Combine those two terms. They are like terms, and that will get you your surface area. Two twenty-four. Anybody else? Back that up. Your pencil's moving. You have a better chance. Obviously. Okay. Um, was that what we expected? Yeah. yeah. Unit squared, though. Unit squared, of course. Thank you. All right. We got to find the surface area, and we're going to start with the radius and the height. So everything else is just a matter of getting our steps in sequence. Um, what was our first given? Radius equals seven. seven. Would it be okay to say that the height equals twenty-four is your first given? Yeah. yeah. It's it's not relevant which order you give those in. We need them both. So our second statement is going to be what? Height equals twenty-four. Okay, and that's also given. So the next deal is that we've got to do something to find the slant height. How do we find the slant height? Pythagorean theorem. Uh, I don't want to use the numbers first. What I would like to use is the names. Since they don't have segment names, they just have like pretty much their, their function. So what's the function of this segment? It is the radius. And the function of this segment is the height. And the thing we're trying to find is the slant height. So let's write that in Pythagorean theorem form. We're going to write what? Seven. Seven. No, I'm not looking for the numbers. A squared. R squared. R squared. Thank you. Somebody's getting what I'm saying. Plus h squared equals s h squared. Radius squared plus height squared equals slant height squared. That's called the Pythagorean theorem. At least the Pythagorean theorem is what justifies this statement. Okay, do we know what the radius is? Yes. Do we know what the height is? Yes. So we replace those. Now we say 7 squared plus 24 squared equals slant height squared. What's that called? Substitution. All right. Then you can do all your math. You get the 49, you get the 576, you add together, make 625, you take the square root, and you find out that the slant height is actually 25. That's math. We always say come to us because you do most, if not all, of the things in there when solving a Pythagorean theorem problem. Okay, cool. So now we know the slant height. So now, we want to find the surface area. We need to find the area of the circle and then the rest of the formula. But the area of the circle is its own little formula. So we need to do that next. Then we can go all the way to the surface area. So here's what we're going to say. We say the area of the circle equals pi times the radius squared. What do we call this formula? What's the shape that it's talking about? Oh, cool. No. 
Circle. We're not talking about the cone right now. We're just talking about the circle. What part of the circle are we finding out? Uh, it's right in front of your face. You shouldn't get it wrong. So what do we say? We say the we say the figure first, always, followed by what you're figuring out. Mm -hmm. Of all the things, that's one of the things that's probably the easiest to catch. You should never say area of the circle formula. It sounds silly. Circle area formula. Okay. Do we know the radius? Yes. Yes. So now we can say the area of the circle is equal to pi times, what was the radius? Seven. seven. So pi times seven squared, what did I do? Seven. Substitution. Seven. Therefore, the area of the circle is equal to 49 pi. Did our math, it's PEMDAS. All right, now we've got the area of the circle. So now we can plug in to the actual surface area formula. So we can say surface area is equal to the area of the circle plus pi times the radius times the slant height. This formula is for the surface area of what? Circle. Pay attention. Circle. Circle doesn't have a surface area. What are we talking about? Cone. Cone. So what are we going to call this? Cone. You say the figure first. Cone. 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 Area. 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 Cone surface area formula. Like we said before, everybody makes mistakes, but the key is to not make the same mistake twice. All right, so now we can plug in. The surface area is equal to, well, what was the area of the circle? You're not paying much attention. It's written right there. 49 pi plus pi times what was the radius? 7. 7 times what was the slant height? 25. 25. Okay, what did I do? Substitution. All right. We do our math. You do the 7 times 25, you get 175 pi. You add it together. You finish with the surface area equals 224 pi units squared. That's our math. What do we call that? And thus. That's it. There's your proof. Okay. Um,